Okay, Woo. it is time for our five minute major. Let's do it. Am I uh ref? Yes, sir. You are, you are the judge. I was like, I don't know what we're talking about. So five minute major is a new segment that we started doing a couple weeks back where two of us, this time it's Darcy and myself, we argue on a specific topic. We don't tell the judge, who is Harper, what the topic is going to be. Um, so this week, we have to, we have five minutes to make our cases, so two and a half minutes each to make our cases on why we think Harper should agree with us, and then Harper decides yay or nay. Um, topic this week is, should the Hearts Trophy go to a player who hasn't made the playoffs? Or whose team does not make the playoffs in that year? Well, that's a hot topic right, right now, fellas. It is, it is a hot is. topic. Yeah. On fire. Yes. So yes. Connor McDavid. We need should. to draw straws before we get to this, so we decide who goes first, and we can say like, we drew straws before the show, and I can just pick randomly because I don't know what this? guys. What? Did, give me that pen. No, don't do that. Just give me the pen. Okay. The pen with the ink. Oh no, you already know it. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work. They're both you blue blew pens. it. You yeah, blew I, it. I just blew pick it. one. Just let me pick because I don't know. Yeah, and just pick. Mitch goes first. Okay, I go first. All right. All right so, <clears throat> my side of it was that a player on a non-playoff team can win the Hart Trophy. Okay. And in fact, not should, but is is available to do so, if it makes sense. So, why should they? Because the award itself is the MVP of the team. Most valuable player to the team. And it's not the most valuable player in the league. That's the Ted Lindsay Award. So if my buddy over here in the Anaheim jersey, it's Solani or Korea? In the Korea jersey over here, says otherwise, he's lying. So already, he's a liar. Um, starting off right with some slander. Um, that's the good. one The one that I wanted to bring up is not Connor McDavid, because that's that's easy to make. Like, Connor McDavid should win it, because he's got 102 points, probably like 105 by tonight. Can and I guess where you're going with it? I can guess. I, I, you guys can probably both guess. It's written down on the piece of paper. In Mark front of Stone. You. What? That was a. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not gonna take Connor McDavid, why would I take Mark Stone? That's pretty simple. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> I'm I'm not taking Connor McDavid because his team is so far out of the playoffs. It has to be a guy who's at least close to it, who's making it competitive. Mm -hmm. Um. So my bet is on Taylor Hall. And the reason I'm taking Taylor Hall is because the gulf in class between him and the rest of his team is large. It is cavernous, I think is what I wrote here. Cavernous. That's another word. That's a cavernous. Big word. I gotta start reading books. You got you got to read them books. <laughs> I'll get you some books to read. Sure. I'm actually writing a book. We'll talk about it later. Whoa. Um anyways, so the idea of the award is to give it to the person who is the most valuable to his team and not who has contributed to the most in terms of points but just who's been the most valuable to his team. And that has been Taylor Hall. And that's why if they don't make the playoffs, which is a very real possibility, I think voting for Taylor Hall makes sense even if they don't win. Thank you very much. My time is over. All right. Short I disagree. Obviously, that's the whole point of this. Um, you should have said you agree. You win. <laughs> no. So I, I don't think so. And I've, I've looked it up. I've looked at the Vezina. I've looked at the Hart Trophy. I've Good. looked at... That's great that you looked at the Vezina because that's not what we're talking about. No, but I've looked at all the major player awards. Okay. And there, in the last 30 years, there's only been one player who's won any of those three major awards, individual awards like the Norris, Hart, and Vezina. Okay. The, the three major player awards. Okay? Right. Mario Lemieux, 1987-88. Yeah, because he came back. No, that wasn't that year. No, Mario Lemieux that year scored 167 points. Yeah, it was insane. That was 19 more than Wayne Gretzky, who over the previous eight seasons had amassed over 1,550 points. Right. Okay, so he beat Wayne Gretzky one year, and so he by 19 points. Where did he his didn't team just finish? Beat him. Where did his team finish? Very low. Very, How was very low? Very bad. Like bottom? Pretty close. They were terrible. Okay. They were awful. Okay. He absolutely lapped the field, and that's the only time I would say that you can win that award is if you are absolutely lapping the field. Connor McDavid right now has 120 points at Edmonton's that bad. Yeah, then maybe I'd give it to him. But the voters are thinking about how good is the team, how good is he making the team. Well, that's okay. Okay, I'm the glad team, you added that last part. The team, I tell you, the team has to make the playoffs. No. Absolutely, they have to make the Why? playoffs. Why? You have to define that. That's your entire argument. Why do they have to make the playoffs? If you're because not going to find... to be the most valuable, you've got you've to find ways to make those guys better and make them better enough to make the playoffs. You've got to get in. Because you know what we're doing, essentially, by giving Connor McDavid the Hart Trophy? We are awarding kids in the schoolyards with oh participation trophies 
and I will not have it. Here we go. You got to at least have a, You got to at least have a chance to win something. You can't just be golfing May, April eighth, and and win the most valuable player in the league. There's other guys still playing. They're more valuable to me. You got Kucherov out there. You got Evgeny Malkin. They're this playing year. in a tournament. They're playing in, a, in an offseason tournament that they happen to qualify for for because of their. Oh, team. just happened to not just because of the team. It's because of them. They're the most valuable player. I They're know. the ones that made that team make the playoffs. So then you give it to Kucherov because he made the team make the playoffs? He, Even though they have Vasilevsky, big. Steven Stamkos, Andre Palat, Tyler Johnson. I don't know. That's they're a lot give of it. They're going to give it to Kucherov, but I'd give it to they're, Malkin. They're not going to give it to Kucherov. They're not. I don't think so. so you and think Malkin, be... he's got Crosby. He's got Phil Kessel. He's now got Derek Broussard. He's got Chris Letang, Matt Murray. My God. Like, yeah, but Malkin's again, been five. absolutely incredible. Time's up. Um. Yeah. I well, he already said time's up, so <laughs> all right, I'm done. That's all I needed to say. There's probably some more stuff in there. Well, there's no one following us, but I'm gonna say it for people who want to go back. Good argument, it's a tough one. I think we were gonna argue this last week, but I, I went back and I, I think we argued something else. We did. Um, uh, so this is really hard because I'm on the fence with both your arguments, and I'm not just gonna jump the gun. Hall is like the, the the maestro, the orchestrator. Thank you. But you can say that about a lot of other teams, like no. like like Kopitar right now. Mm-hmm. We don't watch a lot of Kopitar, but Kopitar without Kopitar on that team, we could you know, push push LA down to the bottom of the league. Sure. Again. Okay. Yeah, I guess I, maybe. And they're right there, kind of making the playoffs, just like that. So. Uh, your adjudication process is killing me. Yeah, it's it's tough. I'm gonna say you're gonna go with you me. gotta make the playoffs. Yes. Yeah, you know, just you gotta make the playoffs because I was Kuch- going for a hat trick and you ruined it. <laughs> you ruined it. To, I wasn't gonna give it to you. Um Kucherov on that team, he has so like the supporting staff or the supporting cast on that team is unbelievable. I don't think anybody should win any awards on that team because they all just work as a as a group. Who should win that award is the GM, the GM of the year. Mm, that's true. I think Iser- he will. Iserman should win that. Oh, no. Sorry. No, it's not going to be. It's going to be McPhee. Yeah, probably. Easily. Oh, for sure. Without a doubt, McPhee wins the GM of the year award. But anyways. There's no question. You got to make the playoffs. Got to play for So I've got, I've got Kucherov as my front runner with Hall and McKinnon as my... Mm, McKinnon. But in, in that's another play who might not them, make the playoffs. Both of them saying oh. Oh. if they make the playoffs. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. But, if they make... And it's all these right teams, here, like, I can take the Lord's name in vain, right? No. No, you cannot. Not my house. Oh, God. No. Jesus Murphy and all of his apostles. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy on my soul. Oh, well, that was good. That was good, Mitch. That was good, yeah. Goodbye, you. Thought I was going to lose that. Yeah. All right.